This place is just like five minutes away from my house.
I tell her to burn. And comment down below if you like my cornrow and or if you like my um, natural hair, just comment down and tell me which one you like. encourage me more to do to do more and um, continue to comment feel free um, take people stress out with things like that this because some people they are going through a lot of things a lot of stress frustrations you know so we do videos then like this to encourage people to tell people that it is well, everything will be okay. Please hold your dog. I'm scared of dog. So that's that's it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I always say that. If you watch these things, you you sit in one place and you will see like if, for me. I always watch this. From, I don't know, uh, from Kenya. She always like traveling, going to Liberia, to my country. I mean, she will be like showing a video. They get me to be lying about. Eh, eh. Oh my god. She can be lying to us. Some things that I will even know about. They gotta be lying. And people subscribing to that channel because it's not everybody know much about Liberia so whatever she come out to say oh this is what happening in Liberia people believe it people say people, people take take her word serious so we have to do this we have to do this they, they lying to you and not everybody and now one person should say everybody don't want to lie then I think you know so we have to get into this thing we keep in this one man country to take money from here and go build our country. You know, you know what I mean? Forget we will not stay here and not making anything while we have all it is to, to make ourselves rich and go back home and do something for ourselves and our children. You know, we have to do something. We have to go back home and sell down. Settle down back home. It's good to build a house here, to buy a house here, but your country comes first. Liberia should come first in your life because it's where we came from. It's where we came from. We have to go back home, look for money, hard, work hard, and go back home and do something for ourselves. I know it's not easy. Some people like the Scottish people, all the Zogo there, the arm rubber. At the end of the day, Liberia is where we came from. We have to go back home and do something for us, do something for ourselves, and make our children to know that this is 
where we're from. No matter what, if either you are a citizen on paper, this is not your country. You have to go back home. Liberia is all we have. Liberia is all we need. This country is very, very stressful. There is no freedom. There is no freedom. You live in this country, one stress from one stress to another. You're not in peace. Here you you're working, you say let me take day off today and rest with my family. You can't rest. You don't have time to rest. You have to start going here and there. You have to buy this, you have to do this, you have to do that. I mean, you, the stress is too much. But go to your country, go to Liberia. Go and relax your mind. Go and relax your mind. Go and have fun with your family and friends. Go and have fun with Mama Liberia. I mean, the place is beautiful. Whenever I'm watching Liberia on YouTube, I'll be like, oh my God, what am I doing here? I mean, what am I doing here? But some of us, we try the time then that we wanted to go at the time COVID came, you know. So it's not easy. There's nowhere like home. We have to go home, guys. We need to hustle and go home and build our country. It's not only the government has to do it. Everybody has to go together and do it. Help the government to do that because one person can build a home. We have to join together and do it. So I'm just encouraging all my LRB people, all my Liberian people, to go home. You need to go home, go for holiday, take your children for holiday, take your children to Liberia. Because some of our children are even planning to take my children back home because my, my, my second son, he doesn't eat at all. That kid, he will spend a whole day without food. He doesn't eat. He don't like eating. I have to force him, force him, force him for him to eat. He needs to go home and see the struggle that children go through there. See the struggle that children are going through. Just for one color, just a color to eat. He needs to go home. He needs to go home. To go and see what what, children, what other children of his age going through there. So we need to take our kids back home for them to know where we're coming from. And this is all my message. This is what I have for you guys today. This is what I have for you guys today. Yeah, thank you for watching so much. The place is a bit cold. It's about to rain. So I will just leave you here today. But tomorrow, by the grace of God, you know, watch out. I'm going to make another nice video, and I'm just encouraging and advising our Liberian people for us to go back home. Whether you're young, whether you're old, we need to go back home. This place is not our home. We only become citizens, we get that document for us to be able to travel around the world. We are not citizens. So speak in one main country, this is not our country. We are not white. At the end of the day, we know that we know that we are not white. We need to go back home. There's no place like home. We need to go back home and live freely and enjoy our life with family and friends. This country is very, very stressful. So this is my message for today. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Watch out for stuff on my YouTube channel, guys. I love you.